What's up my peeps, time for a brand new episode of WB Mayhem and today I got a ton of news to share with you guys in regards to events, brand new events coming into the game that we've never seen before. Events that are going to get increased in terms of rewards, so they're going to get improved. The return of the rumble and when exactly it's coming back, it's sooner than you think. And also, it seems like one of the events, one of the most rewarding events in the game is now gone. I don't know if it's gone forever, or if it's just gone for a little bit, maybe they're changing some things up with it, but at the moment, seems like there's, you know, no indication of it coming back, at least anytime soon, who knows, things might change, but right now, I don't know, we don't see it anywhere, we haven't seen it in a while, some of you might figure out what the event is, I'll get to that in just a few moments. So anyways, this news comes from Reliance Games themselves, they posted up an update today on the community page, and it's titled Event Schedule, so we have the event schedule for next week. So, they said, Hello Mayhemers, here's the rough event schedule for the next week. We have created all new daily events with increased class and level up rewards. We have Raw and Smackdown recap events that will run for one day and follow the previous week's episode. We will also have three day events for Raw, Smackdown, and Icons so you can earn their respective loot case. We have a brand new cash event for your one star superstars. We are also rerunning the Royal Rumble event this weekend. So first off, there's your answer for the Rumble weekend. Now I'm not done reading all of this, but I want to go over some of the things that I just mentioned right here, or they mentioned. So first things first, we have created all new daily events with increased class level up rewards. So the class level up rewards have been increased. That's good. That's a good thing. Uh, you know, whenever they give tier 1 dumbbells, those are the most common dumbbells out there. So if you can give us more tier 2s, more tier 3s, I'm all for it, and I think that's what we need the most, because we get a ton of tier 1s from the dumbbell case, aka the event case. So when I'm playing an event, I just like to go for tier 2s and tier 3s, because those aren't as common in the loot cases. So that's great. And then on top of that, we have Raw and SmackDown recap events that run for one day and follow the previous week's episode. Now this is actually new. I know we've got Raw and SmackDown events right now, but those run for, what, three days or so? Uh, I think so, yeah, three day events usually for Raw and SmackDown. But these are one day events, and these will pretty much recap the previous week's Raw and SmackDown. So seeing as how this schedule is for next week, whatever happened on SmackDown or whoever was on SmackDown this week will be in that event in terms of opponents because, you know, it is a recap event. So, all right, that is a new version pretty much of the Raw and SmackDown events and they're going to be much shorter. I wonder if the shorter Raw and SmackDown events are going to offer up the exact same amount of keys for the Raw and SmackDown loot cases as the usual three-day event or if it's going to be different, either less or more. I guess we'll have to wait and find out because they don't specify that. Anyways, uh, next up, we will also have three-day events for Raw, SmackDown, and Icon. So that right there is a brand new event. A brand new event for the Icons loot case, which contains a bunch of Icons, a bunch of Legends. So uh, that right there will, of course, uh, get you some keys for the Icons loot case. So for those of you who were maybe on the fence, maybe you wanted an Icons, you know, loot case from the store or to use gold to get one, you can just wait until the event pops up and you can get a loot case, an Icons loot case that way. And then something else brand new, they're introducing cash events. I remember people asking for that. People were like, hey, we want... You you know, more ways to get some cash. How about a cash event? They're listening. They're bringing in a cash event. Uh, what I'm most curious about here is how much cash is it going to be for beginner, normal, and superstar? That's one of the questions I have with pretty much any new event is how are the rewards going to be? How many keys are we going to get? Or in this case, how much cash? All right, so that's all good news. And uh, like I said, the Rumble, we now know it's confirmed that it's coming back this weekend. Okay, now on to the official schedule and the exact dates for every single one of the events. So first up, Monday. On Monday, we will get the Raw Recap 3-star version. 
So that will only be for your three star superstars and that's going to be the one day only raw event. So make sure on Monday if you're playing Mayhem to go ahead and focus on that event first because it's only going to last one day. It's not the typical three day raw event. So you got to do that quick and finish that to get those keys. And also along with that on the same day will be a Brawler Daily event. Now, on Tuesday, we will get the SmackDown recap, and the SmackDown recap will be a bit different from the Raw one, because that will be exclusive to 2-star superstars, so you can only use your 2-star superstars on that one, and that will also last one day, and on the same day, uh, you will also get a SmackDown 3-star event, now, on this one, it doesn't say one day, so this seems to be the typical SmackDown event, and that is actually going to be, well, actually, you know what? I don't think this is a typical SmackDown event here. Actually, now that I think about it, the typical event is like four or five days, right? Yeah, so I totally, you know, messed that up. But yeah, these seem to be brand new events, even, you know, the three-day ones, because this one is actually exclusive to three-star superstars. So, all right, two SmackDown events within a day. One that's only going to last one day, it's going to be exclusive to two-star superstars, and the other is going to last three days, and it's going to be exclusive to three-star superstars. On top of that, Tuesday is really stacked, because you'll also get a wild card daily event. So, if you got some wild cards and you need some dumbbells, you'll probably want to play that. And then on Wednesday, we will get a champions cash event that will be exclusive to one star superstars all right that's interesting you usually don't see that exclusive one star event all right that's new so if you got a bunch of one star superstars that's what you're gonna have to use here for those of us who have one star enzo hey we've got one more one star than somebody new you know just getting started off in the game who can't get enzo because he's no longer there but okay, that's the cash event pretty much, and it's going to be for the one star superstars, and then we get a technician daily event. And then on Thursday, we'll get the icons event, and that will be for two star superstars. So right now, I'm seeing a lot more star exclusive events, events that are exclusive for two stars or three stars. So far, no four star uh, exclusive events, which is good for most of the players because not everybody has four stars and we'll also get a powerhouse daily event on the same day on Friday It'll be the Royal Rumble event All right, so the rumble is coming back like I said and then a mayhem three-star event I think the mayhem three-star event is pretty much gonna be the, the typical You know mayhem event that we get for some three-star keys I wonder if the number of keys are gonna be changed because this one seems to be exclusive to three-star superstars And also on the same day high flyer daily events and now uh, finally on Saturday You'll get a raw event and uh, that will be two-star exclusive and a showman event and that pretty much caps it off those are going to be the events for next week. So, a lot of events, you know, a bunch of new events, a brand new catch event that we've never gotten before, a brand new icons event which will reward you with either icon loot case keys or maybe the loot case itself. What I'm thinking is it's going to be some keys. I don't think they're going to give you, you know, the icons loot case just for completing it on a certain difficulty. The biggest change or difference I notice with next week's event schedule is that it seems like from now on we're going to see a lot of events become star specific events and by that of course i mean the events that require you to use a certain star superstar so either you've got to use a two star or you've got to use a three star and in the future i think we'll probably see you know more events that require a four star now while we are getting a lot of events next week there's one event that's kind of gone missing and i'm talking about the unstoppable giant events if you notice, or if you haven't noticed, it's not in next week's event schedule, and we haven't seen it in a while. And before this event schedule was even revealed for next week, people were already asking when the Unstoppable Giant was coming back, if it was coming back, if it was gone. And now, with the confirmation that we won't see it next week as well, that brings up even more people, you know, thinking that the Unstoppable Giant event is gone. What I'm thinking is, I don't think it's gone entirely, but... I think it's maybe gone for a while or maybe gonna take a break. Maybe they're switching up how the AI reacts because since the Rumble update, the opponent reacts a lot more differently and it's a lot more rewarding to play defensively and also the opponent is a lot better when it comes to how they react to your strikes and when to time their blocks. You'll notice if you 
consistently go for the two strike combo like two medium attacks two medium attacks two medium attacks that you're getting stunned a lot more often after the rumble update than before the rumble update and that's because the opponent is going ahead and timing their blocks right on time to get you stunned and so what i'm thinking is maybe with those changes because now the normal opponent has changed and how they react and such maybe they're also going to go ahead and change how the unstoppable giant reacts because i don't think that the offensive method that a lot of us would use prior to the rumble update to win the unstoppable giant event would work as well this time around after the rumble update but anyways that's pretty much it for all the event news in the comment section let me know if you think the unstoppable giant will be coming back anytime soon and also a bunch of people in the last video when i brought up the whole scorpion deathlock bug they're like oh man it's things my only three star or four star this sucks but you can still use sting just don't go ahead and use the scorpion deathlock it's perfectly fine to use a singer splash there's nothing wrong with that move it still works and obviously you can finish the match with any charge attack just make sure you're not using the scorpion deathlock even when reversing if you do go ahead and you got the scorpion deathlock and the opponent goes for a signature move or something like that and you have the option to reverse with either the weaker move that you've got or the stronger move go for the weaker move unless the stronger move was the stinger splash anyways that's it for this episode and one last thing before i close this video out i've been wanting to say this for a couple of episodes but i keep on forgetting good thing i remember it here although i should have probably said this in the beginning whatever do not ask me to give you my save data if you go ahead and post up a comment saying hey give me your save data you will get blocked that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did click the like button down below and with that said i'm out guys see ya